Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to continue on the trainings for Creo cabling and in the previous tutorial we have learned how to understand the structure of the Creo cabling assembly then I have explained to you how you are able to create a copy geometry in three different ways and now I'd like to show you on the first example copy01 how you are able to manage the layer and visibility of the copy surfaces. What does it mean? Right now, this is the geometry what I would like to reuse for our future Creo cabling assembly. And over here you can see that I have made a copy of the five different geometry. And now I'd like to focus and explain to you what you are able to do with the layers. So if you will select view manager and tap the layer, you are able to select and create new layers. And for example, the name will be visible all. Yeah, so visible underscore all and nothing is changed. And in the second example, for example, you would like to create that the, a few components will be hidden. So I will select the new and plate will be hidden or visible. It's up to us. Yeah, so I will select the plate now, for example, this is the plate and I'd like to set up that only plate will be visible. So everything instead of the plate will be selected and I will set height. What does it mean? The active layer will be modified. Over there you can see the plus. So what does it mean? You need to select save and OK. If I would like to see everything, I will use the visible all. If I would like to see only plate, I will select the plate. Maybe it's better if you will use the same or similar name in the model tree. So you can select the object and spacebar and then plate will be named here. Also, you can change the name and pin 01, latest one is the pin 02. And for example, this is the connection top. So for example, top connection and over here will be bottom connection. Yeah, so you can specify the name for the feature in the model tree. Also good. And then again, if you would like to manage visibility in the layer right now, maybe it will be much faster and quicker for the understanding. So for example, I will select the connectors height and then you are able to select, for example, this surface and this surface. I will use the functionality height. And then again, what you need to change is the, and you need to apply these changes. So you have to save and confirm OK. So right now, if I will select plate, only plate will be visible. Everything will be visible or connector, connector will be hidden. So it's up to you how you would like to play with the view manager and also maybe it will be visible here. If I will select double click plate, only plate is visible. And if I will use the connector height, again, the system will hide selected components. If you would like to change the preferences, it's not problem. You can unhide. You can, for example, hide these two. Yeah, so I will change. And again, you can select and save the modification. And if necessary, you are able to rename and and set custom new name. Okay, so now you are able to manage the visibility of the features in the model tree by the view manager and layers. In this video example, you have seen how it's possible to manage the visibility of the feature combination by view manager, layers and visibility in the model tree. Thank you and bye bye, Vladimir.